first product we're using is their own Wake Me Up Concealer, and I'm just going to use this to cancel out any redness and discoloration in my eyelids. And then to set that concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Master Fix Loose Setting Powder, and I'm just applying this all over my eyelids, because, yeah, it makes blending a little bit easier. <laughs> So the first color we're using is Milani Bella Eyes Shadow, the purple one. I cannot remember what the name of it is off the top of my head, but I will have it listed below. And I'm just very messily applying this to the outer third, outer half of my eye, but focusing mostly on the outer part and in the crease. So this is the Coastal Sense 252 Ultimate Palette, and I am just taking that deep blue based purple color and on a pencil brush I'm applying that mostly to the outer portion of my eyelid once again focusing in the crease. Going back over that first purple color I'm just going to blend the two together. This look is definitely a lot of blending and adding and blending and adding so definitely take your time with this. Now I am going in with that same blue based purple again and just once again deepening up the look. And now we're going with a light pink purple color and I'm using this to blend the purples with the rest of my eye makeup. So I'm just going to very lightly blend these together and add the smallest amount possible because it's definitely easier to add more than it is to take away. Going back in with that purple color and blending and adding more. <laughs> and going back in with that deep purple color, I'm just adding some more depth to the outer portion of my eyes. I felt like I lost a little bit of the intensity while I was blending out. going back in with a matte white color. Any matte white color will do. Um, I'm just applying that to the inner half of my eyelid to open my eyes back up and really clean up the blending in my brow bone before I do my brows. So now I'm going in with some black liquid liner and I'm just going to be creating my normal wing that I do. I actually made this a bit more dramatic than what I would normally do just because I felt like it was super duper necessary for this look. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara in order to prep for the falsies. This is the L'Oreal 24 hour power hour um, mascara in black. And now I'm going in with that same pinky color and just running that on the lower lash line. The lower lash line I didn't want to make super dramatic but I definitely wanted there to be something. Just kind of really complete the look. You could have left this blank if you wanted to and the look still would have been very beautiful but I decided to make it a little smoky. So now I'm going in with that deep purple color on that same pencil brush and just applying that from the middle of my lower lash line back. Just kind of meet up with the liner I did on top. And now I'm applying just a purple liner. This one is from CoverGirl. The name is actually not on the liner, so I'm not sure which one it is, but it is once again just like a blue based purple. It is kind of duochrome in the sense that blue does peek through a little bit. Now I'm going back in and applying some mascara to the lower lashes. Now I'm using the Makeup Geek Duochrome Shadow in it, the color Phantom, and I thought this was just a beautiful highlight for the inner corner of this look. It is a purpley pink color and it just looks Stunning. Now 
you can definitely see it just really lights up that part of my face. So, I'm going to be applying some blush, and this is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I don't apply blush very often, but I felt since this is kind of a spring look, it was necessary. For highlighter, I'm using the NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic. I have been dying obsessing for this highlighter lately. Like I said, if I could bathe in it, I definitely would give it deep consideration. But I'm just applying this to the high points of my face. And now for lips, I'm going to be taking the Milani lipstick in the color Nude Creme and just dabbing that on my lips. I didn't want my lips to be like super duper pink, but I didn't want them to be like flesh toned either. So I'm just dabbing that on my lips and blending it out with my finger. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you would like to see some more colorful spring inspired makeup looks. And as always, social media will be listed. And subscribe on your way out. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.